we're in Hapatcong, New Jersey to meet Justin Beckerman, an 18 year old who built his own one person submarine. As you can imagine, I'm pretty excited to meet him. Hey Raj. How you doing buddy? Good, how are you? I am here to see your submarine. All right, I'll meet you around back. Dude, this is beautiful, man. So this is it. Yep, this is the submarine. So what, I mean, when you say submarine, I mean, this is this submerges, right? Yeah, it goes completely underwater. It goes about 30 feet, but I've only gone 15 feet so far. It actually is just under 10 feet long. This took about two weeks to design and then five and a half months to build. Where did this concept come from? I've been building things ever since I was two, from paper blenders just for fun, or just hanging a lounge chair from string in the basement and covering it with lights that I wired up. But then there's things like the Mars Rover, which I did in eighth grade. It had a robotic arm, solar panels, lights, camera, motors, and it was pretty cool. It was all wireless. I just kind of wanted to build something that I could explore underwater with, and I thought, goggles and face mask and whatever, it's kind of boring, so I tried to make my own submarine. So I mean like when you get in there, it's pretty complicated? It's complicated, it's very tight, so it can stress a lot of people out if they're trying to control it. So you have to know what you're doing at all times. Yeah. Switches, buttons, lights, valves, circuit breakers, it's, it's a lot. This is basically made out of a giant drainage pipe capped with plastic ends, plexiglass dome, five ballast tanks, and lots of batteries and wire. There's four main systems. It's everything from life support systems, driving systems to move the sub, ballast systems to go up and down, just the generic systems for lights and cameras and sirens and strobe lights, sonar, and a CB radio. Justin, thanks about that time. Can we actually see this thing in action? Of course. Awesome. Justin has piloted the submarine on more than a dozen successful test dives. No one expected what would happen next. My back tanks are not showing. I repeat, my back tanks are not showing. I cannot do anything about it. I, I don't know what to do. Cameraman can hear everything you're saying, so if you want to tell him something, he can relay it to me, okay? All right, I don't know what to do, because it's not coming up, I don't think. All right, do you think, it, you think it's a leak in the hose? One hose came out, so all the air is escaping through there. If that can get in, then it's on my right, on my right side is where the hose is. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get in the water with my snorkel, and I'm going to look around at the hoses. 
tell them to lift the back up and drag it uphill. Ross? Say yeah, he, he has it going. Okay, good. Dude, I would be freaking out right now. <laughs> Try to keep them until keep it level. Oh, there we go. He's gonna drag it to the platform. This is all part of it. It's the uh, it's the troubleshooting. It's half of engineering right there. What did he say? He said it's kind. Of, this is kind of fun. <laughs> Nervous, or were you? You seem to be doing. I was nervous. Okay. It was kind of. It was fun. I was nervous. <laughs> you were. I mean, you you were confident the whole time. Yeah. So what's uh what's the future for Justin? Definitely renovating this thing a lot. <laughs> Keep working on it and fixing it up. Got to fix those ballast tanks. <laughs> but going forward, that wisdom that you've gained is going to help you. In future endeavors. Yes. So even just though little things like that just add up so much. So keep trying. Yeah. Is there a place online where you can kind of keep in touch? Yeah, I have my website, justinbeckerman.com. And that's where you kind of. That's where I have it. maybe a quarter of my creations. Dude. Definitely most of the big ones. You're a boss, man. Thanks.